Welcome to Model Kit Stuff. My name is Jason and today we're going to have a look at both the Pontos and the Edouard Photo X sets for upgrading Trumpeter's 1200 scale HMS hood. So um, as you might guess I, I have a plan to build um, HMS hood uh, and when I come to do that I'm going to want to, to improve on it. Uh, for me it, it's my ultimate model build. I've 45 years of model building, this would be my, my ultimate build. I have family history connections to this ship which makes it personal for me. And so I want to make sure that when I build it, I'm building a museum quality family heirloom that, that will keep in my family for, for generations to come. And so with that in mind, I want to build it as accurately as possible. So when the kit first came out, Generally what, what happens in the world of, of ship models is um, Edward tend to be first off the blocks in terms of offering aftermarket. Then there's a company, MK1, who tend to be um, not far behind them or releasing about the same time. And they're a, a competitor to Pontos, as in their approaches is the same. And we'll talk about uh, approaches in, in a moment. Um, and then you wait a little bit of time and you'll find that companies start bringing out things like wood decks. Master will come out with brass barrels and then eventually Pontos will come out um, with their set. And generally Pontos do uh, quite a good level of research so you, so you know that what they're doing is fairly accurate. But we'll test that, we'll test that today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a look at both sets, see what you get. Um, and, and just talk about um, the comparisons. So if you're not familiar with um, etching in the shipbuilding um, world, then um, Pontos have the reputation for being the ultimate purchase in terms of aftermarket upgrade. Edouard have been in the business of etch for a very, very long time and both companies are tackling the same problem but coming at it from a diff slightly different angle which results in um, a different product coming to the market. So what Edouard do is they take a basic kit and they look at how they can improve that kit. So they will then produce um, a set of etch brass sets um, uh, usually a number of individual packs and then they'll pull them all together in a, in a big head set and you've got the opportunity for a, a period of time at least um, to, to buy them all together at, at a reduced cost to buying the individual packs. Um, and what Edward do is they, they look at the kit and say right what needs to be altered from the kit to make this right and what can we add to it and what can we replace um, and what they're basically looking to do is to upgrade the kit that you've bought so it's very much an adding to the kit process uh, and with that in mind um, they, they released their um, photo etch in these packs and um, in the case of, of the hood there's seven different packs and as you'll see they'll cover different elements. So they'll, this one, it says it features, it covers the radars, but when, when you look at it, it'll have other elements there that are associated with the structure around the radars. Uh, and sometimes, um, you know, uh, like for example, on the, on the Bismarck, their etch tackles, their pack that tackles the cranes, also does all the um, bits and pieces of superstructure and stuff as well, which you may well miss if you if you didn't if you didn't look at it properly. So, what the, what it does is it gives you an opportunity to buy what you want to do. So you, they'll have a railings pack, and you could, if you wanted to, say, well, you know what, I'm I'm going to build this kit and I'd like to add some railings, but that's as far as I want to go. And so Edward give you that opportunity. So actually, you can build to what you want to build and to within your budget. And we'll, we'll look at cost as well at some point. Pontos come, from, come at that same challenge of what can we do to improve the kit? What can we add to it? What can we manipulate? What can we replace? 
um, but they come at it from a from a different point of view. What Pontos do is they say, what do you need to do to get this looking correct? To get this looking absolutely top notch. So they want to not just improve the kit, they want to make the kit as best as it can be for the, for the modeler. And they do that in, 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 in one big release. And in that you will get photo etch, but you will also get resin parts. You'll also get turned brass parts. Um, quite often you'll get um, a wooden deck if it's a ship. Um, and But they also do other, other sets where they, they just produce a deck for that kit and they never produce anything else. Um, so if we look at this, you get the deck, you get nearly 300 um, brass components, 20 sheets of photo etch, 86 resin parts, some brass screws and um, some dry transfers. So if you're buying the Edward set, if, you, if you're buying one set, you go, right, what do I want to do? Do I want to do all of these things? And therefore it makes sense for me to buy the Pontos set. Or do I want to buy into some of the Edward set, but not all of it. We also have another option which Edward present you that Pontos don't. And that is you can shop around and choose what you want to put on your kit in terms of brass barrels, deck. You can choose a brand of deck that you like or you like the look of. Um, you can choose the brass barrels, are you going to just do the main guns, do you want to do all the secondary armament and, and minor guns as well. Um, you can buy into um, the aftermarket resin and increasingly these days 3D printed components at your leisure and build and construct a kit from a wide um, variety of, of uh, aftermarket providers and, and, and cast your net as wide as you like. Whereas with Pontos, you're getting all of this, and if you don't want to use it, you're going to have to spend some more money. And that's where um, the, the, the thought process becomes a little bit more challenging, because you, you, you spend a lot of money on these things, and then, well actually, I prefer um, the decks produced by Scale Decks than, than Pontos, for example. So, am I going to use the Pontos deck? No. So, I've spent money on something I'm not going to use. Do I like the look of the brass screws? Well, they're no, no better than the plastic ones and uh, maybe not. So no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have bought those, for example, but I've got them. Am I going to use them or have I spent money on something I'm not going to use? So, so there's your, that's what ends up being your, your question. Um, what I want to do in this video is just have a look at the etch sets you get from both and ask, the, ask myself the question, if I was buying just one of these, which one would I buy? Um, and is there a big difference in how those two companies tackle how the etch is constructed uh, and how the etch looks and what they felt needed to be corrected in the kit? So let's go and uh, have a deeper look Start at Start by having a look at what you get in the Pontos set that you don't get in the X set from Edward that you then have to go and source um, separately. So you're going to get um, a self-adhesive um, wood overlay deck in the Pontos set. So it's basically um, a sheet of very thin wood veneer that's been um, laser burnt to create the, the planking detail, uh, the joggling around the edges um, and so on. And they, they do it to um, a colour that they believe is correct for um, the ship at the time. Uh, some people like to stain these decks and change the look of them. Uh, my general view on laser cut decks um, like this um, which is most overlay companies are doing it in, in this format is the bigger the scale the better they look because what happens if you if you're doing a, a 1700 scale ship for example then the the 
thickness of the planks is narrower and so the laser burn becomes more prominent and, and what basically happens is it takes over um, and it doesn't quite look right and the, the, um, the uh, planking becomes more prominent, the, 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 the joints where the two planks butt up becomes more prominent. Uh, and it looks out of scale actually it doesn't doesn't look right on a one three fifty ship that improves, but it still doesn't quite look right um, on a one two hundred scale ship, as you can see here, um, then actually it, it doesn't look too bad, although you can still see it around the edges it's sort of you've got this dark witness that that you wouldn't have got on the real ship in, in fairness um, and Although it's an improvement on the look of a painted plastic deck, um, some of it can be incorrect, you know, so you don't know that they've actually got the juggling and the planking structure um, right, or whether they've just done a generic burn it through. Um, and in the case of this deck particularly, and it, and, and it varies from different kits is my experience, in this instance, this deck has been aimed at constructing the um, kit with the Pontos modifications. So we can see here um, that there are some, uh, this wouldn't go over the kit as it currently is because this shape is different to how the, the kit is. The, the kit's incorrect, Pontos correct it, the deck then fits the, that correction. Um, so you get a deck, um, you get um, enough sheets to cover um, all the wood deck areas. So also included in the Pontus set, you get um, a number of resin components. So uh, you get a bag um, there with a lot of uh, different components in. And some of these components are direct replacements of parts um, that are included in the kit, um, like these, for example. Um, and the general idea with resin is you can cast resin with a better level of detail than you can um, form on the plastic parts so um, there'll be better detail so that's the idea largely of resin and you can see here uh, we've got replacements for the, the um, large surge lights um, both, the, both the, the frame uh, the mount for them uh, as well as the lamps they, they give you some clear plastic lenses which are actually curved when you feel them. Um, uh, there's um, major components that, that you place out, um, replace um, deck fittings here, um, blast bags um, to give you a realistic look of, of, of the blast bags. So there's a whole variety of stuff that you would have to perhaps buy as individual items and in that way the fact that you've got them all in one kit probably saves you money but then there are items in here such as these tiny things which are for holding anchor chains um, on the deck um, that that possibly you wouldn't buy um, so you end up getting bits that you wouldn't have possibly considered uh, buying so you get um, a fairly decent assortment of etch uh, of, of resin sorry some of which will need etch components on to, to, to complete them. But the idea is you're improving the um, the look of the parts. Also in the Pontos set you will get a collection of turned brass um, components or cast brass components. So um, some of these are items that you could buy as aftermarket. So um, the gun barrels for example. Um, so all the gun barrels, major and, and secondary and so on, are all covered in here. So you get a turn brass barrel, which um, means you're not going to have to clean, clean up mould seams um, and usually corrects the length and um, the thickness of the, of the barrel. Um, that will be designed to go with the resin blast bags and, and should look more accurate, it is the theory. Um, in this case, we've got um, propellers. Um, I've not checked to see if they've got the right handings on them, but they they look a bit like a toy part for, for me. Um, these, they, uh, I think the, the, the look could be better. I need to think about that. Um, but also in, in the um, turn brass parts, 
you'll get components that you that you wouldn't buy separately as aftermarket. So there'll be um, all sorts of little components there um, that that contribute to the construction of things like um, the radars, the the uh, para vanes, the um, uh, various winches and cranes, and and um, so you get all sorts of uh, additional parts that 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 build up. Also, um, you generally from Pontos will get things like the mast assembly. Um, so you get the uh, you'll get the main mast, um, you'll get the tripod legs in this instance. You'll get the yard arms. Um, you, you even get some of the um, some of the rigging. Um, you get the ship's booms, uh, and they're all co covered off here. Uh, and getting those in turn brass gives you the advantage of, of strength, particularly when you come to to rig it. So whereas the plastic might might flex under under strain, the brass parts aren't going to do that. Um, and again, it means you've not got to clean up things like seams and um, the connection tabs from the sprues. That and and on thinner parts like yard arms, that can can definitely be an issue. Also, on a turned brass part, you can get that that turned brass item um, down to scale much better than you can do casting it in in the styrene that you'll get in the model model kit. So it, it's all about improving the overall look, the scale accuracy. Um, improves the strength for you as well so as you can see you get a lot of parts there and if you if you hadn't bought this and you were buying the Edward set you could buy the barrels you could buy the the, the propellers um, people like GFAC to do those um, you might be able to buy a mass set even but you wouldn't get all of these components uh, and some of them you'd end up having to scratch make build yourself the yard arms and things like that possibly Okay, so that's the brass component. So now let's have a look at, at the, the etch. And this is the, the main bulk of the, of the Pontos set. Um, and it, it's the, the item that Edward do. So now we can do a comparison. Because Pontos are coming at this from a slightly different angle and they're looking at upgrading everything they can in the model, um, you're gonna get etch that you're not going to have included in the Edward set. Now this is all depending on how you view um, the accuracy and the, and, the, and the look of the kit that you bought and in, in this case the hood and whether you're happy with it. Um, not everyone is looking to build uh, a model that's as accurate as possible and count every rivet some people are just happy to build a close representation of the, of the ship and Trumpeter have done that. You can build the Trumpeter kit straight out of the box with the etch that they've supplied and you'll have something that is a good representation. And if you go on, uh, in this instance, the, um, look at the reference materials, that the uh, HMS Hood Association lists something like 46, 48 amendments to, to the Trumpeter kit to make it more accurate. So they're not far off it being very accurate in the in the first place. And their 1350 kit was probably the, the best kit Trumpeter had ever released. So the start point for, for HUD was, was always good. But what Pontos have done is they've come along and said, well, actually we can improve on that. So um, the biggest issue with the Trumpeter kit um, it is the point where the anchor chain um, goes through the, the, the deck and the hull and, and they've done that in a tear shape which is wrong and so what Pontos do is they give you a template um, to cut that out of the of the plastic deck and then they give you some resin replacements so you wouldn't get that anywhere else but this is this is one of this is a a, a nickel sheet rather than a brass sheet and it comes with a very nice nameplate um, which looks really good um, it doesn't have their name on it, it doesn't have the scale on it, it just presents the, the, the model, which is nice. Um, and then you get this massive steel deck overlay um, and other, um, the, like the gun tub um, decks as well. So there's lots of bits and pieces here that, that just generally improve the look. Um, also give you a challenge with removing parts and, and fit, but 
you know, um, that that's par for the course if you're going to start modifying your, your kit. So amongst the items that um, Pontos tackle um, that Edouard don't, and, and perhaps an omission from the Edouard point of view, but they don't have a, a pack that, that tackles um, the, the outer hull or, or the hull areas particularly, um, is the degaussing cable. Um, so Pontos do, um, and when you look at it, it looks correct. Some of it is double and some of it is single, which is correct. And they've got um, the various different shapes um, and that improves what the kit's done because the kit's given you a good representation, but it's, it's single and the shape's not correct in places. Um, and if you know that and it bothers you, then you need to replace it. Um, so Pontos do that and you can see there's a number of strips which you're going to have to glue to the outside of the hull. Now um, there's another company here um, who have done a set of etch just for the degaussing cables uh, and a modification to the hull that allows the degaussing cable to um, go above the, the, the deck line which it does at a couple of points. Um, so um, this is by uh, Scale Warships Limited, th this particular one. And what's interesting is when you, when you look at it and compare it to um, what Pontus have done, the look is very similar. I actually think that what Scale Warships have done is something with a little bit more finesse. Um, the the, the um, points where it's attached because this is basically cable passing through um, attached points. I think they're thinner uh, and, and look better. So I actually prefer this to the Pontos set. But interestingly, um, the pattern is different. So here you can see um, a fair size gap. Um, and then um, the basic shape here is the same, but it's not quite as angular. Um, and there is a point, if I can find it, where, there we go, Pontos have that single cable running in a different shape to the double cable than scale decks haven't. So someone has not got it right. Um, I prefer the look of this. Um, I need to check the shape. Um, this, this also includes cat head assembly as well. So you fold these over, fold those over and, and creates a cat head assembly. I'm not sure whether that's in the Pontos set, I've not looked closely enough at it. But on first look, that looks great. But that's an individual aftermarket item that you'd buy to accompany the Edward set so that you had that because Edwards haven't cut it up. But if you're buying the Pontos set, then clearly you'd you, you, the Pontoff off. Having said that uh, Pontos are offering etch um, that covers areas that Edward haven't touched, Edward have also done the same and, and they have done um, some bits that Pontos haven't done, which again you can buy separately. So they, they often do flexible steel flags which look outstanding um, for, the, for their model ships. Um, and there's no flags or, or anything included in the Pontos set. Uh, but also Edouard do these um, photo etched figures um, and I suppose it, it depends on you, your point of view that they're quite flat because they're made from etched brass. You fold them over and they look a, a, bit, a, a bit bigger um, and, and a, bit more, a bit more realistic but you have to place them carefully otherwise they do look, they do look flat but then when you look at a model in, in the distance they look too, people look two dimensional, so um, it depends on your view on it. But Edward have done figures um, and they do quite a range of, of um, figures now in different scales. So you could actually populate your ship with people if you wanted, which you can't do with Pontos. So let's have a look at the actual etch now and compare the two uh, and see. How they, how they differ in, in approach and look. So I'm gonna start here with the railings and, and I guess if you're just gonna buy um, 
one upgrade for your, for your kit in terms of etch is likely to be railings. The, the railings that come with the kit are generally quite stock, quite basic and generic. Um, so this is the Edwards set of, of railings and uh, you can see there that you've got some of the bracing um, and you've got um, it's shaped to go around various different points in the deckway where you might have um, things that are, uh, are in the way. Um, you've got shaped etch to go around various different components um, and, and some railings that are attached to bits of platform. So um, it doesn't look like a lot of railing for a big ship but it, it is all covered um, pretty much in that one sheet and you, you can buy this in its own right and you know you've got all your railings covered. Now Pontos, obviously if you're buying the railings you're buying everything else and, uh, and as you look at the railings here on first glance they look pretty much the same but if we get a bit closer let's see if I can get this in camera you've actually got the turnbuckles and the fastenings here. So these are a much closer representation to the actual railings than Edwards, which are a bit more generic. So there are sort of lumps there, which are supposed to look like the turnbuckles that, and the fastenings. But if we get close here, you can see they've actually, in the photo etch process, made little loops and, and hooks. So, depending on what the railing is. Um, so the, the actual look of the railings from Pontos is ever so fractionally better than it. So now let's have a look at the main armament etch. So, obviously in the case of Pontos you've got the, the barrels to incorporate, which you haven't with um, Edward. But the, the, the approach here is, is quite different. Um, Pontos, give you an awful lot of parts, including the barrels, um, to modify the, the plastic parts. And they, to take you through that step by step, quite clearly actually, um, and then show you what the interior should look like and what the finished gun should look like using the kit shield. Um, and what Edward have done is they've said, cut off the shield and scrap it and we'll replace it with etch. And which will give you a more realistic look in terms of the thickness of that of that shield in the plastic will be inevitably um, too thick over scale um, so a different approach in terms of interior detail um, the level is pretty pretty much the same um, so I'd say there, there wasn't much in it when you look at main armament, I mean this is remnants of a, a, an aircraft launch um, that was still on, on this particular turret you can see that yeah, um, it, it's covered off um, by Edward, it's also um, covered off by Pontos and um, you know if you look at the instructions there they are covering off the same elements so Pontos have put that on, Edward have put that on, ladders are on, ladders are on, you know, uh, the, 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 they're pretty much covered the same thing and, and that gives you reassurance that both of them have, have done their research. Um, just out of interest, these these vents that go, go around the barbettes, um, both companies have gone with um, folding complete replacements. Um, but the Pontos ones have fast bends in and just don't look right at all. Um, so in this instance, the Edward offering is, is better. Um, so in, in, when it comes to the guns, if you were buying the Edward set and the barrels, you're actually going to get guns that are going to look just as good as the Pontos and maybe better. Look at the etch for those guns. Um, what's interesting is um, this is the, the Pontos etch here, and you look at the Edward etch, there's a lot more perforations in the base plate of the Edward than there is 
in the uh, pump tufts and they look different and, and I'm going to have to look into that and, just, and see which one's more accurate but there is a different look there um, and you know both of these sheets are dealing primarily with with the guns and both of them are very very detailed um, the approach might be different in places but the end result looks the same so there's not much between these there, there really isn't um, but Edward takes takes the edge because it replaces the shield which gives you uh, a more uh, in scale finished look. I wanted to show you this as well because this really highlights how Edward and Pontos um, arrive at a solution from a, from a different approach. This is the, the searchlight here uh, and what Edward have done is they've taken the kit part, modified it, put etch on it to make it more, look more realistic. They've taken the um, actual light unit, um, got your removing plastic, then you're wrapping it in in etch to give it a more realistic look. You're putting um, a, a clear piece of film in for the lens, and then you're putting the lens components on top. Uh, Pontos um, have given you a resin component there, so less work, but it doesn't have um, the level of detail of the etch, it, it really doesn't. And they've given you um, resin there, um, which does the job. Um, they also have some etch that then goes on it as well, so they, they, they cover the, the, the front. But they have these curved lenses, um, and I'm not sure um, how well that's going to work, because they, they, they were flat on the front face, so what why you've got a curved lens, I'm not quite sure whether it's just the limitations of manufacturing. But I will build both of these up and decide which one I like the most. But I suspect the detail level is better on the Edwards set than the Pontos. Now then, uh, when you're looking at this item here, um, Edward have you doing quite a lot of difficult um, chiseling out of the kit parts, whereas Pontos have just given you a totally reworked resin part um, which looks really nice and and you could probably combine the resin with some of the Edward Etch and come up with something that as a hybrid looks better than what either of them are, are offering. When it comes to the funnels that there is a big difference in how um, the two companies have, have tackled it. Um, Pontos have gone with a full wrap around the funnel to improve the rivet detail uh, uh, and panelling. Edward have largely left the funnel um, alone, but have concentrated on the inside of the funnel at the funnel um, cap top, um, where um, you'd see um, some detail that, that's, that's included in the kit, but isn't, isn't quite there. Um, so they've just up upgraded that. Interestingly, um, it looks quite different when you compare it to the Pontos. Um, you can see, you know, in terms of size and everything, it's it's the same, uh, and the uh, fact that they've got a walkway is the same, but they don't have a centre section. Um, so again, um, Edward have a centre section. They also have uh, quite um, a, a set of railings and bits and pieces that go in there. That's quite complex. That that. Um, Pontos have also done, but not quite in the same way. So we need to have a look at your references and see see who's right. Uh, famously on the trumpeter kit, the, 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 the two funnels are two different sizes. Um, neither of them really tackle the fact that the, the size is different. Some, some major differences here um, in terms of the, the breakwater. So this is the Pontos set. Um, and you can see the, 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 the bow brake water um, is made up of two components, um, two main components at least, um, which, which form an inside and an outside surface. Then you've got um, the, the, the doorways that open up and then the extension around the rest of the deck. So you put that in, that in and that in and you get the, the full length. Um, and you know, that, that's got some really nice detail to it um, um, 
and then you've got all the bracing that goes on it and it'll look really nice. Then you look at the Edward and it's totally different. Um, uh, done the same approach, you've got the doorways which they've done in, in a different way, you fold that over to, to get that look um, and then you've got the continuation of them but there's a, a great big hole there and a blanking plate to go over the hole and if, if I get in closer you can see there's little holes there for the that align with that and then you've got these two circle sort of elliptical shapes here and you're suddenly asking yourself who's got that right what one of them has not got that right and I seem to think think from my memory and I haven't checked my references because I've only just spotted this but I think Edward have got this right but I will have a look and, 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 we'll, and we'll take a look but the other big difference that we can see from this sheet is that um, on a lot of the ammunition lockers uh, for example what Edward will do is they will face them up so you keep the kit part you stick that on the front and it makes it look much more accurate whereas Pontos I don't think it's in this set um, they have you folding the whole thing and you replace the whole thing with with etch and again that's that's how the the two companies look at it differently um edward will retain much more of the original plastic kit than than pontos will so in terms of starfish both the companies um tackle replacing the starfish with with etch um, and you can see here if i put the two together um, this is the main starfish platform they're almost identical. Um, these grooves here on the Edward Etch um, are, are where other parts of Etch are going to go, bracing. Um, the shape of the of that is slightly different because that's designed to go with Pontos, put the Pontos resin part that that is the um, joining point for the the tripod legs, uh, whereas that's using the kit part. But you can see there's bracing present on Edward that's not present on Pontos um, but fundamentally they, they look the same and probably will build up to end up looking the same I, I have no, no doubt um, in the um, and then in, yeah so you can see there that's the the, the, the Pontos way and then Pontos have done some major structural work to the um, forward superstructure but then Edward have as well uh, and what I noticed looking at the instructions that Ed Edward have done some modifications to some of the windows that, that Pontos haven't um, so um, you, you are, if you're using just the Pontos set you'll have to drill out some of the windows in here, some of the smaller ones which would be difficult, whereas with Edward um, you, you can replace them. Um, but fundamentally Pontos is going to give you more because they're building the whole mast, whereas Edward are improving the parts of the mast that clearly need improving um, in terms of scale. Um, so you've got more work to do with the Pontos and you perhaps get a better finish but the end up look if you use both should be round about the same I'm um, using the combination of Edward and Kit so um, I, I don't see that there's a there's a there's a big difference there are some advantages to Pontos some advantages to, to Edward. This is when you compare the two instructions where you can see that um, they've pretty much done exactly the same and there's many many places where both Pontos and Edward have created the same etch to, to make the same modifications but in some places there are differences so in in, in the case of this item which is the the, the um, platform um, at the at the stern of the um, raised deck area um, what Edward has done is, is replace the molded uh, bracing for something that looks um, much more in scale and realistic um, Whereas Edward have replaced the, the deck, um, replaced the um, supports, and then put their bracing in. But um, 
the bracing arrangement is different. So they have this sort of framework here, whereas Edward have some bra uh, some bracing. So again, one of them has got this not right. Maybe Edward have just done a light for light change, and Pontos have done better research. That's my possible guess in this instant, but. Uh, you've got some work to do to, to understand uh, what the differences are. But in the main, you'll find that what Pontos do and what Edward do are pretty much the same. we'll look at is the ship's boats. And here, this is where the two um, offerings diverge the most. The look of the finished ship's boats is totally different with Pontos and Edward. Um, and some research will be needed to see who's got what right. Now, when you look at the Edward sets, they're very involved. You look at the Pontos sets, they're not quite as involved. And actually, Edward have a greater level of detail than, than Pontos across the ship's boats generally. They have um, ship's wheels included, for example, Pontos don't. The shape of that oars is much more accurate than, than the Pontos offering. Um, there is things like the um, life buoys that go on top, which Pontos have totally missed. Um, in terms of construction, they're, they're very similar. Um, you can see um, that the approach is pretty much the same um, with putting a, a deck in and an overlay um, but some of these structures here totally different the window arrangements are different um, so there's a quite a bit of work to do to understand which one is is the most accurate but my first impression is there is a lot more detail in the Edward set than there is in the Pontos set um, and possibly the finished look I think is going to be better with Edward if they have got their look correct. Um, so you can see here there's quite a few little detailed parts here that don't appear in the, the Pontos sets at all. Um, and in terms of the um, chocks for the, for the, for the boats, um, although the approach is the same, um, the Edwards um, are, are more complex. Let me see if I can find you one. Yeah, so more complex, um, whereas Pontos have you folding that out to form the base and folding it over, giving you a narrow top. What Edward have done is they've given you a base, you fold that out, then you've got the actual bit that the boat sits on separate. So you've got what is one component in, in Pontos is is four components for Edward. So Edward have, have definitely um, raised the game when it comes to the, the, the boats compared to, to Pontos. Both of them um, have a similar approach to, to the um, life rafts. Um, both of them tackle um, the rigging of the of the of the boats on the davits, but Pontos um, do that with a, a lot more um, um, brass involved. They replace the uh, Edward has suggested plastic. Pontos have the the, the uh, brass. So there's there's lots of similarities, but here they do diverge the most. And and Edward certainly take the crown for the level of detail um, but in terms of accuracy of finished look that needs a little bit of digging into. With every pack comes an individual set of instructions so it tells you how many sheets of etch you've got, it gives you um, a little key as to what you need to do in terms of folding, um, removing parts and so on and so forth and then they give you step by step for each individual item. So you can see here um, with this gun assembly, you've got reference to the kit parts, you've got reference to the Edward parts. It tells you if you need to be folding it. 
um, and it shows you how to put it together. And it's done in what I'd, I would say was a traditional model kit format where you have numbered parts which go together in a, in a particular sequence to build something up and, and, and those stages go together. Um, what Pontos do is they give you a load of photographs um, with part numbers and not quite showing you step by step but show you this is it before you put the barrels in, this is it with the barrels in. Um, and some of it you have to work out. So in terms of ease of understanding, absolutely Edward is the best. And if you're fairly new at using etch or, or you're um, um, not, not really interested in spending an awful lot of time studying instructions and trying to work things out, then Edward is head and shoulders above Pontos in terms of the layout of their instructions. In my opinion, it, the, the clear, the simple, they include everything. One of the um, issues that I've regularly had with, with Pontos um, is inaccuracies. So there'll be items on the etch set that they don't reference at all. Um, you, don't, you can't find in the pictures, or you might spot in the picture, but it's not a reference. There'll be issues with the, the numbering. I've had this on every Pontos set I've ever had. There's an error where They've, they've called the incorrect number or they've used a number twice or they've not used a number at all. Um, and so, and some of it can be quite confusing. So if we look at this one here, you know, um, you're looking at a, a completed picture um, which says, which references some bits and pieces and you've got to look at it and go, right, where does that go? And, and at what stage in the model kit am I putting that in? And so on and so forth. So, so the instructions are a big A3 size colour sheets, and that's really helpful. And you can, you can look at it quite um, closely and study it and get, ah, right, that's where that goes. Whereas with Edward, you've got step by step, fold this, place it here. Um, which, which is much, much, much clearer. Um, with both Edward and Pontos, um, if you go to their sites, you can download their instructions, which means you can put them on the computer screen and you can blow them up so you can see a bigger version than that. And on some of the Pontos instructions, it's almost the only way you can, you can read their instructions. Not so bad with this hood, I've got to say. Um, but um, some of their 1350 kits, uh, I need magnifying glasses to actually read the instructions. Um, so, in, in terms of instructions, Edward's a better option. And, it, and if that's going to be your deciding factor, how clear is it for me to build it? How simple um, has it been made for me to understand what I need to do? Then Edward is going to be the, the way to go. Um, if you're prepared to put the time in and understand what needs to be done, which inevitably means you um, drawing up a, a build schedule for yourself, um, then Pontos uh, instructions um, need that work. But you can get where you need to be. Um, if you're interested in managing um, multiple um, instructions, um, for big kit projects, then do have a look at my other video um, on um, how to organize uh, modeling instructions, which will take you through uh, my method of documenting what needs to be done, um, when and how to not miss something that you should have put on, um, etch-wise, um, as you go through your build. So what's my conclusion? If you want to buy build an accurate model of the hood and you want to spend your money on one set of upgrades then Pontos set is the most comprehensive and will give you a superb looking model. If you want to buy into a model of the hood and you want to just improve it and raise its game a little bit uh, but want the flexibility of choosing your own 
depths in your own barrels and what aftermarket you put on, then Edward is the way to go because it gives you that flexibility. If you want to do a museum standard build, the ultimate, this is as close to how the hood looked as I can possibly get, then you're buying the Pontos set and you're buying some elements of the Edward set. And you could certainly see that you'd probably want to buy the ship's boats, you might want to buy the figures, um, you probably wouldn't buy the railings, you might buy um, the um, anti-aircraft gun sets and rocket launchers. Um, you probably wouldn't need to worry too much about the, the superstructure and the decks, but there are some elements of the superstructure that's covered by Edward. Mm -hmm.